You're watching ABC 36 on your side. News at noon with Doug and Lisa High. Hey, welcome into High Noon, friends. We are excited to announce a new feature here for News at Noon. It's a very cool collaboration between our friend, Dr. Jason Swanson. He's a professor of tourism at UK and the good folks at Visit Lex. That's right, and it's called Lexplorations with Dr. Jason. And joining us to kick it off is Dr. Jason Swanson himself. Thank you so much for coming <laughs> Yeah, it's great in. to be back with you. Yeah, so tell us about this partnership with Visit Lex. This is so cool. Yeah, it's great. I get to go around to different places in Lexington and just experience things like a, a normal visitor would or mm -hmm. even a resident here. You don't have to be from out of town mm -hmm. to enjoy what Lexington has to offer. I Absolutely. love this. You take yeah. your assignment right at the visitor center downtown yeah. and they put you on your mission. Yeah, we start out at the Visitor Center, which is a great place for anybody to go to, uh -huh. right in the old courthouse downtown. They're so helpful, very informative, and they can send you anywhere to see anything that you want to do and experience in Lexington. That's awesome. Very cool. Yeah. We're going to do one of these a month. Yes. And uh, Jason, tell us a little bit about uh, what we're going to see today. Well, today we're visiting a, a horse farm. Because you can't be in Lexington well, course, without experiencing yeah. a horse farm. Right? But a lot of us and haven't. So I had some questions for the folks at the Visitor Center, and they directed me to this great horse farm. Awesome. Oh, very cool. Well, let's, well, let's take, a, take look. a look at our very first Lexploration. You cannot live in or visit the horse capital of the world without getting up close and personal with the animals and the people of the equine industry. The best place to start an exploration of equine experiences in Lexington is the Visit Lex Visitor Center. I want to explore why Lexington is the horse capital of the world. How do I do that? Well, we've got over 450 horse farms in this area. So what we recommend you to do is there's this great flyer called um, Horse Country. Okay. And you can go to their website if you've got our booklet. You can even go to the QR code where you can look at the horses, the different horse farms, and uh, pick out which ones you want to go to. Is there a particular farm I can go to and learn about some of the people involved in the industry? Mill Ridge Farm is a good one. It's been around for over 60 years, and they've been involved in every aspect of the horse industry. Welcome to Millridge. Thanks very much. I'm excited for a tour. Well, we're glad you're here. Really interested in seeing some horses, but also hearing some stories about your family. Excellent. Well, we've been here for a long time, and we look forward to sharing. So oh. come along. We were founded in 1962 as Millridge by my grandmother and her father, Hal Price Heedley. My grandmother was uh, his fourth daughter. He ended up having six children. Her father died in 1962, and she was left to start Mill Ridge on 280 acres, four mares, and then three gentlemen who were working with her father came and started working with my grandmother. And I had the great pleasure of working with one of them when I was first starting to work in the mid-90s. The services that we provided for Her Majesty the Queen, the same services we provide today. We're a nursery where we take horses from thoroughbreds, all thoroughbreds, from conception through high school graduation. So they, during those times, they go from you know just being a newborn all through the years of where they're about to be taught how to be ridden. Would you like to come and meet some? Yeah, love to meet some horses. Hey, Mo. Come here. <laughs> so her name is Memorial Wall. Where are you going? Let's see, come here, you. <laughs> My grandmother always said, if you let a horse breathe on you, you'll fall in love forever. So that's the intention. We want people to have a horse experience. So this, this is a field of moms. As you can see, they haven't had their babies yet. A fun part about touring a farm is that it changes throughout the year, right? There are different moments, there are different times of year that you can see different things. So right now, we're in the process of getting ready for our foaling season. Here on the farm, we have more horses and more relatable moments. Have Hold you seen it. visitors here who have, it might be their first time at oh. a horse farm. What are some of their reactions? If someone's never met a horse before, um, you know, we've had a number of people like cry um, they just like, I think it's a blend of overcoming a personal fear, you know, yeah. um, at the same time, a blend of like appreciation, curiosity, you know, um, I mean, horses are, I mean, they're amazing animals, right? I mean, one, they're athletic, et cetera, but two, they're sensitivities, you know, they're, I kind of equate them to like, they're as loyal as dogs, but as, you know, you've got to earn their trust like cats. Okay. Well, <laughs> the same time, right, yeah. they're like the, the cat, dog, at 1,200 pounds, <laughs> right? <laughs> Connecting with the horses, land, and people on a Lexington horse farm tour is a fantastic way to explore the exquisite beauty of the bluegrass. 
Wow. Oh, I how loved blessed, it. How blessed we are to have yes. these gorgeous horse arms. Looked like you had an amazing trip. Oh, it was awesome. And, and the uh, price there at the farm, he was great. I recommend a tour of that place. And there's also lots of other sure. options you can, tours you can take. Through visithorsecountry.com, that's mm -hmm. the website that uh, books tours for our many horse farms throughout the region. Yeah. We can't wait to see where Visit Lex sends you next. I know. It's going to be fun. We've Looking got some surprises in store. What 2024, it's going to be great. Well, favorite part of the, of the tour? The horse, mm -hmm. the horse farm, it was just feeding the animals, feeding the horses. Just he being he up gave close us some carrots and they just come right up there. It made and my eyes watery you, watching. <laughs> horse, it was so beautiful. What, was this, what, what did you say? If a horse breathes on you, you fall in love forever. Right. Yes. Yeah, I love oh, that. Yeah. Loved it. Jason, thanks for sharing these with us. 2024 is going to be a great That's year. That's going to be awesome. Look awesome. forward to it once a month with this gentleman <laughs> and visit Lex. Appreciate you. We'll see you soon. Let's Talk Kentucky is coming up. Bye, everyone.